Hey, my name is Evan. I'm the author behind the health and fitness blog, Trusty Spotter, and I'm here to give you my 100% honest review of the Kino Body Sleep Supplement, Kino Sleep. So for starters, I've actually bought Kino Sleep and have been using it for a while. I take it most nights, uh, especially after workouts. Uh, but beyond that, I'm a professionally trained researcher and reporter with a decade of experience and a passion for fitness. So I'm not just some anonymous ghostwriter. I'm a real person who cares about this stuff. So diving in, what is Kino Sleep? So as Greg from Kino Body has dipped his toes into the supplement business, he's really tried to create something unique, which I respect. Kino Sleep is different from a lot of sleep aids you'll see on the market. There's no melatonin, uh, which works but can have some rough side effects. No heavy sedatives. It's just a combination of natural elements and, and compounds that help you de-stress and relax and kind of soothe you to sleep. So what's in it? The best thing about Kino Sleep is that all of the ingredients and their amounts are right on the bottle, so there's no mysterious proprietary blend here. The main ingredient is the ashwagandha root, which is known not really as a direct sleep aid, but something that calms you and de-stresses the mind, setting the table for great peaceful sleep. Lemon balm is another element here that reduces restlessness and anxiety. And the L-glycine kicks off the recovery blend inside Kino Sleep, giving a nice boost to your, your metabolism and your immune system while you sleep. How does it taste? Well, I'll be honest, Kino Sleep looks horrible, but I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. I like to mix it in hot water, like a tea, and the aroma is really wonderful. The taste is fruity with just a hint of lemon. Uh, some people compare it to Fruit Loops. Either way, it's pleasant and just the right amount of sweet. You will get a little bit of sediment at the bottom of the drink, though. So like I said at the beginning, I drink Kino Sleep most nights, especially after I work out. And I find I start to get drowsy about 20 to 30 minutes after I start drinking. It's subtle. You don't feel groggy like you're on a heavier drug. You just start to kind of feel heavy and relaxed and you slip away. I've been experimenting with a sleep tracking app, and who knows how reliable it is, but according to the app, I tend to spend more time in deep sleep when I've had Kino Sleep. I've also never had an issue with morning grogginess, unlike after taking Benadryl or something like that. If you're looking for the downside, well, Kino Sleep is a lot more expensive than melatonin. It works great, but it doesn't come cheap. If you're looking for something really strong to knock you out, this really isn't it. It's great for sipping while you read before bed or wind down, but probably wouldn't be strong enough to knock you out while you're sick, for example. Some reviewers have reported some morning grogginess with Kino Sleep, though I've never experienced that. So that's it. I recommend giving sleep a try if you're, if you're having trouble getting rest or recovering after your workouts. Like I said, I currently use it and don't plan on stopping anytime soon. If you want to read a little more detail, check out the full article linked in the description below, or click through the Amazon link below to take a closer look at Kino Sleep. See ya.